the Beast. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. What's this? Oh man, still not officially underway. And there's a kick. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Belly to belly. Vicious. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Unleashing it for the second time now. Here is Goldberg in position now. He'd be smart to stay put there. Going for the double play with this move. He doesn't look too eager to get up, and I don't blame him. And he slams him down. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a false count anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. Oh boy, he is rolling. Obviously putting a lot of stock in that maneuver. There he goes again. Going to the well again. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. There we go again. He clearly has confidence in that move. And there it is again. Here is Goldberg in position now. Goldberg is looking to finish this. Oh, boy. Jackhammer! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. As we've all seen over the years, loyalty is a rare trait to have here in WWE. But when it comes to Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar has shown some intense loyalty over the years. Goldberg engaging in some psychological warfare right here. Corey, as far as the Lesnar-Heyman partnership, I'd agree with you. And if I had to guess, I'd say Lesnar kept Heyman around for so long so that he didn't have to talk himself. Well, Lesnar certainly is a man of few words, and Heyman, well, the complete opposite. I'm not so sure the body's supposed to absorb that type of impact. Swinging neckbreaker! And just like that, this move is leading the charge. Tapped into an energy source, and he's going strong. And setting him up, crushing blow. Oh, and he breaks free. Might have already been done, Michael. Guys, when you look at Brock Lesnar and his massive frame, I think it's safe to say the man was built for destruction. Reverses that one. Goldberg is looking at this right now. Let's take a look at the replay. That's highlight real material right there. Lesnar truly is built for destruction, as Byron stated. 
And I'm not just talking about here in WWE. You can place Lesnar anywhere, and you can bet he'll make his presence felt. Yeah. WWE, MMA, professional football, it doesn't matter. If Lesnar's present, he's going to hurt somebody. And we're back to this form of attack. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, you might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Going for an encore here. Well, man, he's going off here. I don't know if this is by design or if he just lost his mind. Goldberg is looking golden right now. What an impact on that belly-to-belly. -belly. Some WWE fans wouldn't agree, but this is just too much showboating from Goldberg here. When it comes to Falls Count Anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Oh, and he hits the axe handle. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Speaking of that classic Charlotte Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the women's championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget the image of Charlotte tapping out to that unique... Goldberg possesses immeasurable intensity and devastating power. We're looking at one of the strongest forces to ever step foot in a ring. But what has driven him the most is being a superhero for his son. And now it's Goldberg. Oh, with the jackhammer. One more time. Why not? Byron alluded to Goldberg's motivations for his return. To millions of people around the world, Goldberg is a real-life superhero. His return was able to inspire a new generation in the WWE Universe. Even I got caught up in the whirlwind, feel-good story of Goldberg's return to WWE. The man is, in many ways, superhuman. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. It was surreal to see Goldberg back in WWE. The energy and intensity that followed him. He's going for the pin. There's the Irish whip. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's going for it all. I want to revisit Goldberg versus Kevin Owens. It is absurd that KO had to defend his Universal Championship against Goldberg. Owens didn't have the proper time to prepare, and Goldberg didn't climb the ranks in order to properly earn a title shot. Uh, then you'll love this, Corey. Goldberg is the only superstar to be crowned WCW World Heavyweight Champion, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and the WWE Universal Champion. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. You guys know what I like most about Brock Lesnar? It's that he lets his actions in the ring do the talking for him. I wish a lot more people would employ that. Goldberg is looking to finish this. Oh, boy. Jackhammer! Wow, uh, his shoulders are down. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow, how did he do that? Some superstars love to talk the talk, as Corey was alluding to. But with Brock Lesnar, it's as if there's no time for talking. He just wants to get in there, get the job done, and leave. Just like his shirt says, eat, sleep, conquer, repeat. Destruction just comes naturally for the Beast Incarnate. A bit of a Houdini job right there. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember 
Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 Alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to False Count Anywhere. The end is near for him, and he's taken down with authority. I think I felt the ground shake on that one. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter Alley fight had many of the elements of a False Count Anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Wow, Goldberg sure knows how to get into his opponent's head. You know, guys, when Brock Lesnar came into WWE in 2002, he was immediately dubbed the next big thing. And I think it's safe to say that that moniker was pretty accurate. He gets a huge power slam. The next big thing was an accurate assessment of Lesnar, as Michael was saying, but truth be told, he didn't need a catchy nickname. Everybody could already see how dangerous he was. Yeah, especially Matt and Jeff Hardy, who Lesnar completely decimated at the same time in his earliest matches. I don't think they've ever truly woken from that. Well, that jump came out of nowhere. If there's a finishing move that can end an opponent's existence once and for all, it's the F5 from the Beast Incarnate. The move shows Lesnar's power and true disdain for humanity. Looking for the finish. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. The most incredible thing about Brock Lesnar's F5 is no matter who it is, the Conqueror lifts up his adversary with the greatest of ease. No one can stop this man. The list of WWE Hall of Famers, legends, superstars, heck, even executives who have been destroyed by the F5 is too long to mention. Unfortunately, Corey, I can tell you firsthand that Brock Lesnar is among the most unpredictable superstars on the roster today. You just never know when he's going to snap. When you say firsthand, Cole, I assume you're referring to one of the greatest moments in Raw history when Lesnar F5'd you in the middle of the ring. And I lost my shoe. For nothing, Corey, but you describing Lesnar's 2015 attack on Mike. It's just a matter of time now. Lesnar back in firm control of this match. He's got him. One, two, three. Brock Lesnar gets the win in an impressive fashion. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel for more related videos.